over budget and it is way overdue. We're talking about the new VA hospital, but can you believe it? The big <laughs> ribbon cutting is tomorrow. Finally, but as we found out, there are still plenty of questions. Denver 7's Jackie Crea joins us with a look at how it fell so far behind schedule. Right, of course, that completion date kept moving. The hospital was supposed to open years ago, but kept hitting some major snags. In 2004, the VA announced it would build a replacement medical center in Aurora. In 2011, VA officials met with construction contractors to talk cost, and that's when things started to spiral. The goal was a completion date originally in 2014. Also in 2011, a consultant noticed issues with cost estimates, insufficient staffing, and problems with the architect. In 2015, the Army Corps of Engineers would take over the project, and in January of this year, it was discovered that major design flaws needed to be fixed. Then lawmakers and members of the House Committee on the Veterans Affairs started looking into things. Also, President Trump fired Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin. And that brings us to last week when Contact 7 heard from veterans who say they have hardly any new information about the new hospital. And tomorrow's ribbon cutting is ceremonial. The real test will be when they start moving in patients. I'm live in the newsroom, Jackie Crea, Denver 7. All right, thanks, Jackie. A Colorado home contractor who skipped out without finishing customers'